We have a testimony this morning that I want you to hear. A testimony of what God, many testimonies have taken place over here, right? We know that. But here is a young lady that's in our church that is in our midst that God has been using and specifically has got a powerful testimony for us. I'm going to call up Jasmine. Come on up, Jasmine. She's been praying for this. She's been talking about this. The reason why we're doing this in the middle of my message is because it's speaking to the time of the fact of being praying and being persistent for being specific in what God wants to do. And God is is accomplishing it in her life. And so she wanted to share her testimony. So I'm going to give her a moment of time. Come on then, Jess. Hi. <laughs> I've never really done this before, so I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> um, first and foremost, I actually just wanted to say thank you to every single one of you guys for all the prayers and blessings that you've given me throughout this recovery journey that I'm going through. And if you haven't heard that I was recently hospitalized for something that just is not, I should say, not, I am not defined by it. I was reminded of that, that it it does not define me, but I am very grateful for all the prayers that you guys have given me, and I wanted to say thank you to every single one of you guys. But I really wanted to share that this healing journey is tremendously like been eye-opening for me and has built me up in in a way that I cannot describe. <laughs> and it feels so good. It feels so good because I've never felt like this since I was a little kid. <laughs> I I grew up really with so much hate and anger and fear and doubt. And I was so weak. I was weak and God saw that. God saw that. And he knew, like we've been talking about like God's plan, his purpose for us. You know, he knew us before he knew the earth. He knew us before he knew the earth. And that is crazy to even think about because I don't even know myself. (laughs) And all I know is the bad things. And that's what I saw. And that's what I focused on. And it wasn't until I was in that hospital, lying there. I actually didn't even hate God. I wasn't mad. I was was more just lying there thinking, I'm going to be good. I'm good. God's got me. I kept repeating that, and we're talking about persistence. I kept repeating that to myself. I was like, I'm good. God's got me. I'm okay. And it was not until the conference, which, by the way, amazing. (laughs) Amazing. I watched it over and over again as many times as I could because I I wanted that deeper connection with God. I really wanted it, and I knew that there was a purpose for my struggle that I was going through, this process. There was a reason, and I I wanted answers, (laughs) and I kept repeating everything, and it was the, I think it was Bishop that talked about rest, our time of rest, and me, I if you know me, I am actually pretty stubborn <laughs> and I can be pretty hard headed and <laughs> I know you're laughing up there. <laughs> but I do put others before myself. I don't focus on myself and I like to do things alone. And it was around the time of the conference that even Bishop, all the pastors that were talking, they were saying the time of rest. It's okay to ask for help. 
it's okay to be weak. It's okay. You don't always have to be strong. God's got you. He is your strength. He is your shield. He's, you have him right there. He's right there for you. And I remember just lying there <laughs> thinking, okay, I got to remember this. So I literally plastered everything all over my room <laughs> in sticky notes saying rest, rest, because I don't know when to take breaks. I don't know when to rest. I don't know when to take time for myself or even God. And I knew that's what I needed. And God was giving me that time to actually get to know him, to actually understand his purpose for me. And it was, it was after the conference and then listening to all the teachings that Pastor Conrad has been doing for the past several weeks, everything has been flowing into place. And I'm like, this is crazy. Like, why is this happening? Like, I am, I was kind of like scared, but not in a bad way. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm healing. And once I got to my doctor's appointments, all my, all my labs, everything is actually looking good. <laughs> everything is actually looking really good. <laughs> and I, I, I'm still in shock. <laughs> and I know that like, there, there's still that one unanswered question that I had was, and my, my whole family had was, why does bad things happen to good people? We always think this. And I actually read something in Hebrews 12, 7 through 13. I'm not going to read the whole thing. It was only some things that I highlighted. And it says, endure suffering as discipline. And verse 10, it says, he does it for our benefit so that we can share his holiness. In verse 11, it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Strengthen your tired hands and weakened knees and make straight paths for your feet so that what is lame not be dislocated but healed instead. This passage has been on repeat for me because it is true. It is so true because I thought that, you know, suffering is suffering. But no, it is a discipline for the good. And I want to say that I, I am definitely living proof of that. <laughs> Because the Lord is good and his plan is true. <laughs> Thank you. I'm dropping everything. <laughs> but I really, really am so grateful for God. He has never left me. I've had this since I was 15. I'm, I think I'm 27 now. <laughs> and I've, I've, I've been through so much trials and never understood why things happened to me for this reason. And like the conference, I wanted to be up here on stage with everybody and sing it and be part of it. But there was a reason why I didn't. I was supposed to listen. I was supposed to hear God in this quiet time. I was supposed to be in this spot right here, sharing this with everybody. Because this was my time. This was my purpose. And I wanted to just end this with that his love is high above all. It is like a cloud that shields us. He is firm and secure and unmovable like the strongest mountain. 
from the highest of heaven to the depths of the sea. This love is for us, his unconditional love, and I am all for it. <laughs> he is a feast for our souls and water for our thirsty hearts, and he is the living water, and he is the bread of life. Amen. 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 I she, she is really a living testimony because I remember when she first came to us and how we, when they came, walked into those doors, those, that door, and I met them right at that pillar and chatted with them almost six years ago, five and a half years ago. Actually six, because you came in October, November. So this would be, or five, five, sorry. No? Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Two years. I'm sorry. I'm thinking, see, senior, senior moments. I'm sorry. Two, two years ago. Yes. Sorry. You, you're like, were you here? What happened? Was I in the spirit? Probably was. No, two years ago. Yes, two years ago. But we have watched her blossom, accept the Lord, get water baptized, and then right at conference, join the worship team, singing. And then all of a sudden for conference, her voice, and she got sick. And she was really deadly sick. She was in the hospital. Nobody could visit her. No one was allowed to visit her. She got COVID and she had complications. But through it all, God brought her through it, through that storm. With prayers, the fervent prayers, persistent prayers, specific prayers. But here's the thing. See, a lot of us, you know, we ask people to pray for us. She was like, okay, I'm this. But she, I remember specifically, Jasmine, remember that text you sent me? Yeah. I was like, I really, I was pastor. I didn't, I didn't hate it for what happened to me. I didn't hate people. I didn't hate God. I continue to pray. In that moment in time, a lot of people can get discouraged. A lot of people can get dis disappointed and just fall away and says, you know what, okay, it's happened again, or it's okay, it's going to thing, or whatever it is. No, she was specific and persistent. And I love it when she said, she, you know, she was supposed to do the testimony last week, but, you know, and all the chaos and all the stuff that happened, with over here, we just, we just missed it. But perfect timing. God answers prayer. Today's message, connection, it was because God wants to say some things and be specific about it. And so I want to pray for you, Jasmine, right now that God, is, God has touched your life spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally. But there's one more area that we're going to believe God for complete healing and restoration, complete deliverance. So, Father, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, your word says, of oh God, by, by the blood of the Lamb and the word of the testimony, they have overcome. And so I pray, O oh God, as she has stood here before you and before the council, before the people, the people of God, and testified of your goodness. I know, God, a step of faith, of stepping out on the waters, God, that you are touching and healing her from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet, and she will, this too will pass in the name of Jesus. And no name, no no medical term, oh God, that, that is given by medical science, oh God, to her will live in this body. And so we thank you for your healing. We thank you for restoration oh God in our body and our kidneys and everywhere we thank you oh God for complete deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ we pray amen amen I love you yeah. God is so good why do we have these testimonies because it's a word of our faith trusting you know it's not just that, okay, pray for me and then go about your business, but it's staying in there, hanging in there, being persistent, staying in through it, through it all, being strong.